We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Washington Nationals. Which of these two will prevail next on the show? Mike Soroka gets the ball for Washington in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Soroka has a chance to be a really good pitcher. You're talking about raw stuff. A big dude, too, with great leverage. Throws a ball on a downhill plane, upper to mid 90s fastball. Good, hard breaking ball. I see him as a really premier starting pitcher down the road. Another in the list of long guys that we see in the game right now. Power arms, all he's lacking is experience. So digging in now, Jose Altuve. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Here's the first pitch to him. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. First pitch, 7 o'clock. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Liner towards second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Batting second, the center fielder, number nine, Javier Baez. Here's Javier Baez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Altuve on at first, nobody out. In the dirt here. The 0 2 home swung on and missed really fooled him that time for the first out. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2 right. You that have to protect hurt. for the fastball. The you have to look for the soft yeah, stuff yeah. down and away. Oh. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. So now to the plate Jackie Robinson. Whoa. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Oh. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. 3 and 0 oh now. Runners on first with one down. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Batting four. The right fielder, number 32. So first and second with one man gone. And set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. As a look, now the pitch. Now a drive out to the gap in right center. And the runner will score from second. And he's in safely at third as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. A minute ago, this thing was tied up, but when you're giving up triples, you're not going to be close for too long. Now a two-run lead and a base hit away from making it three. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0-2. 
Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first. But this will be taken easily at first, and there are two That's gone. Good. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. And now the Diamondbacks look to push more across in the opening frame. First pitch on its way. Men on third with two down. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Here's the 0-2. One ball. And it's 1-2. One and, and there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. I, you touched on it, D-Roy, I think. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. D-backs lead it two to nothing. Corey Kluber, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock-solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Now to the plate, Trey Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Turner! Pitch on the way. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Too high. One and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. This is foul right side. Here he comes again, one, two. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Full count now, three and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. And that at-bat will put a smile on any manager's face. The pitch total of the opposing pitcher just keeps going higher and higher, and he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. In now, Juan Soto. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the belt, kicks and deals. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Soto, 
He's one of those prototypical left-handed bats that really excels against right-handed pitching. Sees the ball well coming from that side. The 0-1. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Turner gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Throw over to the bag. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. The 1-1. One, one. Here's a look over to first. And he'll be back in standing up. A runner at first with no outs here. Into center field, line drive base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Two seam fastball sinker. He stayed inside it. Didn't have the action the pitcher would have liked. You know, that's a sinker right there, Mark. It's intended to be down in the zone. And this better pitcher better get the ball down because he can't live up in the strike zone. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Too much dip on the sinker. Laid off for a ball. The 1-0 home. like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there one and two a good idea but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit he doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next working for the punch out and the offering to be honest with you I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now if I'm on the mound I want this guy up right now he's the guy that's got to beat me Ready with the payoff pitch. Lined into right, a base hit. Turner rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe at the plate. And the deficit is down to only one now. Batting for the right field. Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He swings and grounds it to short. The throw to Robinson. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Josh Donaldson digging in now. Lifetime against Corey Kluber. He's a 348 batter. He also has one home run. From the stretch. I think this inning could have far reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Here's the 0 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And this is low, ball two, two and one. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, that's out. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Now the payoff pitch home. 
He's offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk and can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In there for strike one, 0 and one. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Oh, and two. Here it is. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Here comes the one and two. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Runners on first and third, two away. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Ready with the payoff pitch. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. The three of us are back with more following this. Second inning set to go. Stepping into the box, Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the run is Griffey. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Batting it. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball match outside. Now the 1 0. Hey. Squared that one up just a little late. One out, nobody on. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. To the plate now, Corey Kluber fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there, 2 and 2. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. They still lead it two to one. <laughs> the 
Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. He'll start things out here against Corey Kluber. First pitch coming, here it is. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Fouled off. A 1 1 is laid off for ball two. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Love to see if he can find a feel for that thing moving forward. Now it's on the ground for Jackie Robinson at second. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Batting it. The second baseman. Max Muncy. Now at the plate, Max Muncy. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt. And it's back to even at two and two. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great no pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Into the box, Mike Soroka. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Kluber steps into his windup. Coming at him with the 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Nationals gone in order. They're down 2-1. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Griffey waits on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And that brings up Javi Baez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Ball one to start the at-bat. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Two and two. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. A 
A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. Into the box now, Jackie Robinson. And so run up to bunt here, but misses for strike one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Strike two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Smoke toward the hole. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1-2-3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two-out knock. Boy, this lineup is so deep, one through nine. They could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Aye. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Robinson leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. One left for the Diamondbacks as they're unable to add to their two to one lead. back in our nation's capital before we get too much further on the field let's check in with Heidi thanks Matt I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings specifically about his club's offense to this point and overall he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together yes they've only scored one run but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on thank you Heidi Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up one of the fastest players in all the land, Trey Turner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there at the knees as he authors a strike to the leadoff man, nothing in one. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. Hit the other way out toward right field. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. One away now in the Washington third, and that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. First pitch of the at bat. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Surprisingly, here this is on the ground to the right side, 
And he'll step on first himself for the out. Got that. So well, bases are good. empty here with two gone. Yeah. And here comes Murphy. Junior. Junior. First pitch on its way. Sinker gets the outside for a strike. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane, and it's 0-2 now. Ball one as that one didn't really threaten the inside corner. Two out, nobody on. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. Our score remains 2-1. to one. Standing in, Jose Ramirez will lead things off here in this one-run contest. Jose Ramirez. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Owen won the count. And now pitch on the way. Down and away, ball one. Ramirez, a former member of the Cleveland Indians, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. And that misses two and two. And this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away. Now that Stepping up to the plate Gary Sanchez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah he's got to put that one behind him especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And that's inside for a ball one and oh. That's inside. 2-0. Well, he's not proving that he can command his breaking ball in the zone right now. And until he does, there's no reason to bite on it. Outside, 3-0 now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. There's ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Sanchez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and two now. As a look, now the pitch. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. The 2-2. That's lifted the other way out to left. Soto is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Coming to the plate now, Reese Hoskins. He was a strikeout victim in his first try.
He's set. Here it comes. Off the plate, ball one. Now the 1 0. Two ball, no. Hoskins. A 27 year old he was a fifth round pick during the 2014 draft Hey, when you come out of the middle rounds, you have to grind for everything and that's exactly what this guy has done and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. And that nope. misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this now early in the game, but the sometimes you have no choice. Boy. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Coming to the plate now, Corey Kluber comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. Oh, one's the count. Comes set. The 0 1. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that dial, or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The right field. Cody Bellinger. Here's the first pitch to him. Hits this one hard the other way, but that finds its way through for a base hit. Legs churning, he's headed for second. Hey, that was eight straight up until that base hit right there. Let's see if the offense gets something rolling now. Third baseman. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 0 1 on its way. At the ball. 1 0. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. One one is a cutter that misses two and one sitting in a good spot right here two ball one strike count is yet to see a fastball have to be sitting on one right here. The two one home. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Count of three and two. Fourth inning of a two-to-one ball game. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Another full count offering on its way. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that. 
textbook sinker. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 0 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Here's the young catcher, catcher Wilson Contreras, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Kluber pauses, first pitch on its way. No balls and one strike. Bellinger stands at second with two gone. Shoots this one over to first. Hoskins has it and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over one left for Washington they still trail it here two to one.